Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to add users in CC and BCC in emails in ServiceNow. This is quite a common question which is asked on ServiceNow community as well as very important question which is asked during the interviews. So you should be well aware of this concept. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hardit Singh and if you are liking my content, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to smash the like button. So this is the use case which we will be developing right now. As an incidence callers manager, I want to be added into CC of the incident creation email when an incident is created so that I know the details of the incident record. So whenever somebody is raising an incident, we would add the caller in the to section of the email and we will add manager of that caller in CC of that email. Let's quickly jump to service now and see how can we do that. I'm in my service now instance. I will go to notifications and I will create a new one. If you don't know basics of emails and notifications in service now, I have a separate playlist on that. The link is on the top right corner and in the description as well. We will go ahead and create this new notification. I will name it as CC demo. And in table, I will select the name of the table on which I actually want it to run. I will take it as incident. After this, when to send. So we will keep it as record is inserted. So whenever a new record is inserted, we will send this email. Right now, I will not put any condition so that Whenever I raise a new incident, an email should go out always. In who will receive, I will put the caller as the person who will receive this email. That means in the to section of the notification, this caller would be there. What it will contain, I will just add a subject. Demo of the CC and BCC. And I can maybe add some body of the email hi and maybe i will add the caller name so to add the caller name i will go to fields i will scroll down and find the caller here and i will expand this and maybe i will pick the first name of this caller so i will just scroll down and find it here so i will just add this first name i'll just remove this text from here and this thing so the caller will be receiving this email and the manager would be in the CC. So I'm just writing some text here An incident has been created. And now to add user or the manager in the CC, we will have to write a small piece of code, which will be the email script. To write that email script, I will just type here email scripts. And under system notification, you will find notification email scripts. Just open it in a new tab and we will write a small script. And I can name this email script as anything as I want. So maybe I can add the name as incident underscore add manager underscore CC. So this is the name of the notification script. I will just remove this and to add people in CC or BCC, we will have to write email dot add address. So email is the object which is already defined by service. Now add address is the function or the method which we will use to add people in CC. In our case, we will add CC here. And after this, we have to give the email ID of that user. So in our case, it will be callers manager. So we have to say here current dot caller underscore ID. So this is the backend name of the caller field dot manager. So this is the manager of that caller and we have to fetch the email ID of that manager. So dot email. So here using this dot walking, we will get the current record and then the caller record 
and then callers manager and then managers email after this we will give the display name as you can see here display name so what should be displayed when the email is sent and is received at the user's end so the name of that particular person should be good in that situation so we will add something similar here i will just paste it and instead of email i can just say maybe name so name is the attribute in the users table which stores the first name and the last name i will just put a semicolon now if you want to add someone in bcc of this email you can do something similar and instead of cc you put a bcc and service now will put that particular user whom you have mentioned here in the parameters in bcc right now we don't need that so i will just comment this out and save this notification script i will copy the name of the email script go back to my notification record and i have to call this script here now how to call that notification script which we have written here to call that script we will have to write the code in body of the email so you can see message html so we will go here where we had given the body of our email we will put dollar sign and then we will put two curly braces and in this we have to give mail underscore script so this is the keyword which we have to use and then a semicolon so th all this should be same as it is after this you have to give the name of your script the notification script i just pasted it here and you can see this format has to be as it is except the name of the notification script so you have to put the name of your notification script here and i will just put something after this regards and maybe system admin i will save this notification once i save this any new incident which would be created in this service now instance will generate this email now before testing that we will have to ensure that the caller which we will select has a valid manager and that manager has a valid email id so that our test case should not fail so i will go to users table first and you can see the user able tutor has manager abraham lincoln and abraham lincoln here it's the second record it has an email id so if able tutor raises an incident as a caller the email should be copied or abraham lincoln should be added to cc of that email let's go ahead and create a new incident so i will go to the list of incidents i will click on new i will select the caller as able tutor and in short description i will put demo cc i will save this record and as soon as it is saved or submitted i will go to the outbox in outbox all the emails which are sent out from this service now instance are present but if your emails are actually going out of your service now instance to the target email ids it means that they are receiving the actual emails those would be present in sent so you have to type sent here and under system mailboxes outbound you have to check in sent i will go back to the outbox and here we can see the email which we had configured has been sent so the demo of cc and bcc and the recipient is able tutor now we have to see whether his manager abraham lincoln was added in the cc or not to check that i will add another column here called copied i will click on okay and you see here that abraham lincoln has been copied into this email so that means it has been added in the cc one additional thing which i would like to show you is if i click on preview email here under related links you would not see that script has been printed or anything it comes as blank because we added the script here between regards and this text so if you add your script anywhere in the 
email body it won't appear i hope this video was helpful to you and you learned something new in service now and in notifications thanks for watching the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button thank you